What's up guys, the tech spot is here and today marks the day that Apple held their September 15th, 2020 Time Flies event in which they announced some new products and services including the new Apple Watch Series 6, new iPad Airs that look like the iPad Pro have Touch ID and are available in multiple colors. But anyways, I'm not going to be talking about that in this video as I already made a video on the Apple event, a full recap and highlights. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below in the description. Definitely go ahead and check it out. It's really cool. But anyways, Apple did all also announced that the official and public version of iOS 14 would be released tomorrow on September 16th. So it's right there. Now, if you are a developer or have a developer account or just have the iOS 14 beta, you can go and update to the iOS 14 GM, which is the iOS 14 beta gold master edition, which is the final version of iOS 14 that is released before the official and public version. I have my hand on the iOS 14 GM over here on my my iPhone 11 Pro Max and let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, now before I start real quick, let me go ahead and show you guys this wallpaper. It is straight from the Apple event 2020 for the iPad Air. Someone just made these wallpapers or just ported them and have them on iPhones now. So if you do want this wallpaper, I'll link it down below and there are a bunch of different ones that you guys could choose from. So all you gotta do is scroll down once you tap on the link, there are a bunch of downloads, tap on any one of them and let's go for two. You guys can see they have a bunch of different colors and they just look really, really cool in spirit of the 2020 Apple event. Anyways, again, this is the gold master edition of iOS 14. So if I head over to general and about, you guys could see it. there it is. If I go and tap right here, there is a build number 18A, 373 and again i have it on my iphone 11 pro max but anyways this update was about five gigabytes yeah, i can see it right there 4.79 gigabytes contains bug fixes and improvements basically talks about ios 14 right there and again this is basically the final version of ios 14 that will release tomorrow it's that developers get this early in the gm so before installing i did have 6.34 gigabytes of free space and after installing this GM, I now have, let's go and check, I haven't even checked it yet. So we have 1.23 gigabytes. Okay, so I actually lost a significant amount of storage. Maybe it's with all the bug fixes and improvements, but yeah. So it did take up some space on my device. Maybe that'll be fixed once we do not have the beta anymore and are in the official version of iOS 14. Which speaking of, if you guys do want to know how to get off the beta and on the public version of iOS 14 when that's out, it is really quite simple. All you want to do is open up settings and then head over to general. Scroll down until you find profiles and device management. And over here, you guys will find the iOS 14 beta software profile. All you would have to do is remove this. Go to type in a passcode, just like that, hit remove. And that's it. So all you gotta do is tap on restart. And after restart, you will then be able to update to the final and official version of iOS 14 by heading over to general and then software update. But anyways, in this update, people are reported that there are still bugs. There are still like 20 or more bugs. Looks like it is working on this version or build of iOS 14. So for some people, Pokemon Go is still crashing. It hasn't really been optimized 100% for iOS 14. Oh, look at that. So everything does look to be working perfectly fine. So yeah, there we are. So super cool stuff. Pokemon Go looks to be working on some devices. It's not for everyone. So some devices, it does seem to crash. I know Aaron from Zolotech tested this out and for some reason, Pokemon Go was crashing for him. But anyways, aside from that, the performance is very fluid. For me, every time, for some reason, whenever a newer beta of iOS 14 comes out and I do not update, that's when my device starts screwing up. And then after I install the update, that's when those bugs just randomly disappear again and everything runs like normal and it becomes super fluid and just works super well again. So much better than iOS 13. And this is just the beta. The final version of iOS 4 is going to be out tomorrow. And it's just going to get better from here as we get even more bug fixes and improvements in iOS 14.1 and above once those are released. But talking about iOS 14.1, the new iPhone 12 is expected to ship with iOS 14.1 pre-installed. So I do expect iOS 14.1 to be out before the iPhone 12, which will be announced sometime in October. And yes, we will have a separate event for the iPhone 12 as well, which is going to be cool. I cannot wait. But anyways, as for battery life, it seems to be very good as well. On iOS 14, I haven't noticed bad battery life at all. My iPhone 12 gets amazing battery life. I can literally last like two full days without charging my phone. It's insane. Let's go ahead and take a peek. So I'm going to head over to settings and then battery. And here you guys can see my battery health and all that stuff. Let me see what my battery health is at. 92%. So yeah, optimized charging is on. And I just use my phone a lot, but still, 
I get a lot of screen on time. Let me go, you can show you guys for an entire day. So yeah, I could see that I got seven hours, 27 minutes of screen on time, which is crazy. And it's overall, it's been very good. I'm not one to really game on my phone that much. It's, these are the apps that I use a lot. So yeah, this is really what I'm doing on my phone and how I'm able to achieve that battery life. Of course, if you're gaming and watch a lot of movies and streaming a lot on your iPhone or iPad, of course, you are going to get worse battery life like I did in the past, as I did used to game a lot in the past on my iPhone. But as far as performance goes, again, it just runs really smooth. I got a widget right here. Everything runs good. Sometimes these widgets over here would glitch out, but now that seems to be fixed as well. And I'm not really seeing any issues so far with this. I mean, I guess it's too early to tell as we just got the GM. But yeah, guys, regardless of what device you are on, if you're on the iPhone 6S, you will still have a great experience on iOS 14 as well, which is really, really cool. Now, not really much has changed with this beta as according to the previous beta. But if you guys do want some new wallpapers, then again, just use that link down below the description in light of today's Apple event, as there are no new wallpapers that we are seeing in this beta as well. So if I were to wallpaper, you could see, choose new wallpaper, and there's the same wallpapers that we had before in all the different categories. So yeah, nothing new there. I mean, this is to be expected as we are going to be getting the official version of iOS 14 tomorrow. And this basically is the official version, except for developers first. So they might be able to update and optimize their apps before it is officially a public release tomorrow. So if there's any issues that they're having with the apps, they can fix them now. And then once iOS 14 goes completely public tomorrow, they will be good to go. And so should you. Anyways, guys, I am loving iOS 14. However, if you do want a jailbreak, then iOS 14 will take longer to get a jailbreak for as a new software. But if you're on iOS, 13.7 or below they did find a new vulnerability to basically create a new jailbreak so a new jailbreak might be coming soon for ios 13.7 and below so if you want a jailbreak more than ios 14 then stick on ios 13.7 or below but of course if you do not care about jailbreaking then by all means go ahead and update to ios 14 and enjoy all these new features and performance upgrades and just overall a much better put together software update. Please be sure to slap that like button as it really does help me out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And also be sure to subscribe for tons more exciting videos. Cool new outro. Peace out.